Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we'll discuss about message integrity and message digest. So, in our previous classes, whatever we have discussed up to now in cryptography, what we have discussed in order to hide the message, the actual message should not be shown. Means we need to maintain the secrecy of the message. That is what we have done in our symmetric and asymmetric key cryptography systems. But now onwards, we are going to discuss about the concept of message integrity should be provided. Let's try to understand what's that message integrity means. Suppose, see, in our previous classes, if you want to, today is the attack, if you want to send this message, this message should not be open to all. So in order to send this message, we are changing it and shuffling it and doing something, something and we are sending the new message. Means we are doing encryption and we are hiding, we are maintaining the secrecy of the message. But now we need to understand what is meant by message integrity means. In some situations, integrity is needed means modification of message is not allowed. So where, which situations we need that modification is not allowed. Let's take an example and understand where, why modification is not allowed in some situations. Message is open. We can open the message. No secrecy is not maintained. But the modification of the message is not allowed. Let's take a, if you are having a property documents. And if you are writing a will for your property documents, you will write the will. The lawyers and the, no one should be should be allowed to modify the message. This will should not be modified. In that situations, we need to maintain message integrity, means modification is not allowed. So what happens in the reality, not in the digital world, what in the reality what happens is, uh, you write the will in a document, on this document he is going to put a fingerprint, so that uh, after his death, uh, no one can take that fingerprint values and uh, we are not going to generate the same fingerprint values. Uh, so that's why you cannot modify the document. But what happens in the digital? How we are going to maintain that uh, modification, not allowing that modification? So what we are going to do here is, uh, in digital, will is written in a document. We call it as message here. We write it as a document and that we call it as a message. From this message, using the message, generate a message digest. It's a code that is generated from the message. In order to generate that code, message digest, we are going to use cryptography hash functions. So this cryptography hash function will take input as a message. From that, it is going to generate a message digest. How this cryptography hash function should be? So the message digest which it has generated from the message, this digest should not be generated by other messages. Only this message, whatever the message you have written here, this message is going to generate this message digest. If you provide that much of complexity in this cryptography hash functions, only this message be, means if you change any one bit in the message, actual message, you are not going to generate the message digest, same message digest. This is what we have discussed, the avalanche effect, confusion and diffusion for a change in one bit in the input, uh, there must be a lot of change in the output. So this cryptography function should be that much complex. If there is a one bit change in actual message, the message digest which it is going to generate should be much different. If you provide like that, by taking this message and message digest, we can provide message integrity. Modification is not allowed. If you modify this message, if you generate the digest, you are going to get new message digest. The actual one is not going to get. So 
so that is what message digest means hope you understand the concept from here onwards from our next classes we are going to understand the concepts of how we are going to provide message digest and all those things hope you understand this basic terminology and things if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you